today we want to talk about the uh, artillery sidewinder. You can see I got two of them and this printer is superb when you want to do some bigger parts like this for our next area with the 118% size. And here this is a slate for a very new project which I want to show you later. First um, we take a look how to build up this artillery and then we go into the details. So let's go. Artillery is a company that surprises with very nice solutions. And here we can see an absolutely small amount of parts. One plug is already inbuilt here. So it will be automatically connected when we assemble holder for the filament. Also these two parts. Then we got a separate level sensor. And this all the spare parts to bearing air cable, I would say. It's a cable, this flat cable, this. So I put this sideways and the screws are also already inbuilt. I set the electric drill to wrench to 16. So this works quite perfect to fasten the screws. Next is just cutting these cable ties, some connectors, here we see the tape, the tape will move, this is already in, that's okay. This is for the extra set leveling, if, if the, if the uh, installed one doesn't work, so at the moment um, this stays free. I just remove the tape, okay, the Z axis has a bearing and they are coupled, so really nice quality. I like it. Here we can move the bed completely forward. Connector for the filament sensor, which we have to install there. So, okay. Our last step is installing the filament holder. Goes up here. And the second one, this has screw installed. This goes right beside, like this. And that's kind of a, a different solution than we have normally on our filament holders. Here we got ball bearings on both sides and the filament will sit on top of these rolls. So the manual says adding uh, just this one screw, but um, then just this half is fixed and the other one is still very sluggish. I will also add a screw right there to fix the other side. This extra screw, the other side is also fixed. And here we can see how it works. Here we have like the empty filament roll and this can rotate on these two axes. And so it's super easy to remove it. It's a nice solution. Last step here is the connector for the filament sensor. This should look like this. This is the correct, correct position. It's also the first time I see a ball head on a printer. Also checking the correct position. 230 volts, that's okay for Europe. And we are ready with assembly, so we are allowed to remove. Underneath we see the heat bed is isolated. So this is good quality and will save energy. We got a glass print bed and this is quite thin. So yeah, this looks like rubber. So we got just this glass plate, this whole part will be very lightweight and this is good for our acceleration. Let's see. It's already the second artillery. So before we can start printing, we should do some checkups. And for instance, this is a bit sluggish. So I have to move the Z axis here 10 and then move it upwards that I can reach the lower adjusting roll. This one, this one has to be adjusted. And that's it, that's it. Very easy, nothing is wobbling or shaking. Check also the table. We got a 220 volt heat bed, so this will heat up very fast. This 
looks good and on the zx we can also check this is okay something other no we can start with the leveling process just go to level and then press first and it goes down okay now we use our paper with the wheel was the tension set now it is slightly squeezed between the nozzle and the bed and we go to second and it moves to second and we do the same super easy after this is done we go back so then we have to go to auto level when the printer is finished with the auto leveling we press the EEPROM save button okay and that's that's it now we can go to Cura. So here I'm in Cura and add a non network printer. Then we go artillery and there we see there is the Sidewinder X1. This one is we will choose and we can rename it to Sidewinder X2 and then press add. When we got it here, Sidewinder X2, we go to manage printers and the machine settings. And here we can see the G code, the start G code. This G code is always written before the G code for your print part will be set. And there we have to add designs. This is to enable the safe leveling, which we set up in the steps before. This is super important. Without this, the printer won't uh, do the safe leveling. And this should be written after the G G28 row so there we got it g28 and after this you just put on this m420 s1 and z10 and this is this is just uh, some remarks to the sign and then some remarks that you know what this row means and let's go on with another important step here you can see two gear parts from the SUX and you see that it will not be possible to slice them. Unable to slice cause of the build volume, but this is a super big printer and you see these are just small parts and this is caused by the gentry high. So we go to our printer, go to manage printers, artillery sidewinder X2, machine settings and that's the problem. The gantry height, this is the default setting, 25 millimeter. And here we go to the full height that's possible, 400. Press enter. That's it. And we see, now we can slice. No problem. And it will be printed one after the other. Yeah, this is super important to use your whole print bed size when you got these big printers. The next important thing I did is adding these three first rows. This is for the acceleration, the print acceleration and the travel acceleration, because you know we want to uh, have the maximum for less stringing as possible. And the artilleries are doing a great job. Super fast and imagine this is just the nose of the new wing from the new VTOL jet and here you can just make a screenshot and then write this down also these are the first three rows you see here from the start G code this were added when you look at, at your original G code when you put your printer on QR they won't be there. This, the, you also see that there's a difference between X and Y because X is the print head and this is a bit more lightweight so it can accelerate more and Y is our print bed. This is more heavy and here the, the motor will get trouble when we accelerate too fast so this is a bit lower. This was tested and this works well. Yeah, so this is really the maximum. When you go higher, you will have some problems with the stepper motors because this is too much load, this big acceleration, but this works nice. Then let's take a view on the detail settings. This is for lightweight PLA, 0.2 layer high. 
and we can see this is standard I use for all my printers. For instance, the uh, Z seam alignment, it's always on the back and hide the seam. Then we got here, this is important, our print temperature. I print with 235 degree. The bed temperature is on the start layer at 50 degree after, afterwards with 30. And 50% flow. The initial layer I use a bit more, 105%. Print speed as always uh, 30 millimeter per second. And here we can see the speeds, the travel speed I also set to, to maximum. 500, this was also written in the machine settings. And this is the acceleration. Um, but Cura doesn't write the exact machine code, so that's, that's why I was adding it afterwards. Here I got just a 2500 millimeter per square second. And here's the support, support overhang angel 60 degree. This is also standard I using on all my printers. Set support distance, this is important. Uh, 0 0.21 millimeter and yes that's it the whole Cura profile you will find on my Patreon page and also you can make some screenshot on here and here's some feature I also added to the printer it's just a light it's an LED stripe light this is always nice to inspect your print quality with some light vertical from above. Here yeah, just I bonded it with, with some tapes on the top of the printer with on off. So you saw you need some setup on a G-code to get the best out of these printers from the artillery side right now. But when this is done, this is absolute superb, especially with the direct extruder. You got a super wide range from materials you can use and also the printer is on a very low price at the moment it's on sale all the links you find underneath in the video descriptions and as said the special settings for the g-code you find on my patreon site also the crew profile and i would say get your sidewinder and print some cool parts with it mm -hmm.